Hello and welcome to another Premiere Pro Editing tutorial. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a simple but interesting photo slideshow. Just follow the steps in this tutorial and you should be able to create a similar slideshow like the one that you're watching now. Let's now head over to Premiere and start some editing. Inside Premiere, we're going to start by creating a sequence. Here, in the project panel, click on the new icon and then select sequence. For this demo, I'll use a 1080 p 30 fp sequence and I will rename this one to Slideshow and then click OK. The next step is importing the files into Premiere. I've already selected a couple of images here inside this folder. I will just select a few of them and drag them over to the timeline inside Premiere. When I zoom in on the timeline. Next, we're going to look at the size of the images. We need to select all the images, then right click and select scale to frame size. This will resize all the images so they will fit in the frame but the images do not have a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So now we do have some black bars here on the side. To fix this, we need to increase scaling inside the effects control panel. And this needs to be done on every photo on the timeline. In the next step, we're going to duplicate all the images. We're going to select them all on the timeline. Hold the ALT key, combined with the left mouse button, and then drag them up to the track above. And then, I'm going to disable this copy layer for now, by using the toggle switch here. For the next step, we need to deselect the images, and only select the first one on the first layer. And then we're going to head over to the effects panel, and we're going to search for the Gaussian blur effect. I'm going to apply this one to the first image on the first layer of the timeline and then head over to the effects control panel and increase blurriness to 400. And to get rid of the dark edges on the outside of the frame, we need to select repeat edge pixels. You might need to increase or decrease the blurriness. Now we can select this effect and copy it by hitting control plus C or command plus C for the Mac users and then select all the other images on the first track of the timeline and hit Ctrl plus V or Command plus V to paste it. And now you can see that this nice gradient blurriness is applied to all the other images as well. Next, we can turn on the second layer again by clicking on the visibility icon here. Then I will select the first image on the second track of the timeline and head over to the effects control panel. In here, we're going to enable keyframes for scaling and then scale the image down 80% of the frame. This will be our last keyframe. We need another one, so let's go a few frames back and then lower the scaling again. And with these two keyframes, we've now created a simple zoom animation. Let's make this animation go a bit more smoother. And with these two keyframes, we've now created a simple zoom animation. Let's make this animation go a bit more smoother by right-clicking on the first keyframe and select Ease In. And we'll select the second keyframe and then select Ease Out. And I will also move them to the beginning and the end of the timeline. And, as you can see, now the foreground image zooms in very smoothly. So, we're going to copy the motion section by hitting Ctrl plus C or Command plus C and then select all the other images on the second track of the timeline and then hit Ctrl plus V or Command plus V to paste it. If I now scrub to the timeline, you can see the same smooth animation on every photo. In the next step, I'm going to add another effect and this time it will be the radial shadow. And again, I will only apply this to the first image on the second track for now. In the effects control panel, we're going to play around with the settings first. I will select white for the shadow color. 
Then, I'll set opacity to 100%. We also need to select Resize Layer. And, now we can play around with the light source. And also change Distance to 5. I'll keep changing the values of the light source until the borders are even on all sides of the photo. OK. I think this should be enough for the sake of this tutorial. Next, we're going to look for another effect called Drop Shadow. I will also apply this effect to the first image on the second track only. For now. And, in the Effects Control Panel, we're going to increase the distance 25% and also increase softness 50%, just like I did before. We can now select both effects by holding the Control key. Hit Control plus C or Command plus C to copy select the other images and hit Control plus V or Command plus V to paste. And now all the other photos also have the white border and the drop shadow. In the next step, we're going to add a transition between the photos in the Effects panel, we're going to search for the slide effect. You can now simply drag this effect over to the timeline and then position them between the images. Let's see the preview. If you want to speed up your transition, then just decrease the transition size. Let's see the preview. And you can also change the direction in the Effects control panel. If you want to do this, you need to click on one of these small triangles here to change direction. If you change direction, you need to do this on both tracks. Do the same things like the first one. In the final step of this tutorial, we're going to add 3D rotation. Let's head over to the effects panel and search for the basic 3D effect. I'm going to add this effect to the first image on the second track and then head over to the effects control panel. I will set swivel to four and I will set tilt to four and then move a couple of frames back and change the values to the opposite. So this means a four for tilt and four for swivel. And with these keyframes, we've now created this nice 3D animation. We'll also make this one a bit more smoother by changing the keyframes to ease in and ease out. And I will also place the keyframes at the beginning and the end of the timeline. Let's see the preview. And now, the final step is copying this effect with Ctrl plus C or Command plus C and then paste this onto the other images with Ctrl plus V. Now all the photos have this nice 3D animation. As you can see here by this red line, the project requires to be rendered first before you can get some smooth playback. To start rendering the effect, you can simply hit the Enter key on your keyboard. Premiere will now start rendering the effects and after that, the playback should be a lot smoother. And that also concludes this Premiere Pro tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then please like the video or leave a comment below. Like always, thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.